After nearly three years, the president is back in charge of the party he co-founded. The new constitution allows him to resume the leadership while also leading the country. And there is much to do, as President Erdogan admitted, particularly on the economy, but also on education and improving health care. Erdogan also promised that the state of emergency will not be lifted yet and lashed out at his critics. They ask us, when will the state of emergency end? And I remind them that France declared a state of emergency for a year and a half after only 15 to 20 terrorists attacked. Now compare this. Factions were trying to destroy my state. They martyred 249 people and injured another 2,193. With what nerve do you ask us to remove the state of emergency? It will be in place until there's peace and welfare. That statement will bring about fresh allegations from some opposition parties that the AK party under Erdogan is curtailing freedom in Turkey. For those who support him, though, Turkey has been transformed for the better under his leadership. Unfortunately, the Turkey, Turkey I grew up in, my mothers and my grandmother, what they had to face as women who were headscarves, and my sister she got elected to the Grand National Assembly in 1999. So uh, the treatment she got for being, trying to exist with the belief and with the way she wanted to dress as a part of her belief, I cannot believe where we are at right now. President Erdogan says his party will move forward with the slogan, democracy, progress and reform. But his statement on the state of emergency remaining in place indefinitely suggests the debate over what is democracy and what constitutes freedom is likely to continue for some time to come in Turkey. The next step for Mr. Erdogan and the AK party will be heavily contested parliamentary and presidential elections in 2019. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World. Ankara.